Hey gang, it's Mark again here at Bicology. Um, today I want to do uh, a little talk about the process of restoring old leather. So for that purpose I've got a kindly donated old leather jacket. Um, it's got some scuffs and things. So uh, yeah, it's a fairly old one, so we should be able to restore it, treat it. And what I'm going to be using on it is a fantastic leather care. As with everything we make, this is 100% natural, especially designed for treating leather, for making it stronger, more supple. Um, more waterproof and it's also got natural antifungal antibacterial agents in it to help stop any molds forming when your leather gets wet or it's stored over winter so yeah a bit of a treatment with this to stop all that mold building up um, pre-treatment all I've done is just taken a normal cloth an all damp cloth, giving it a wipe down, let it dry. Obviously, if there's any mud or anything like that, but this is just the normal kind of road dust, road grime. So. Yeah, so now we're ready to apply the oil. So let's see how we go. Okay, so um, I'll just move this to one side for the moment. Um, let's see if we can get some better, better look for you at the, at the jacket. You can see it's like a bit worse for wear around the joints now. Places like the cuffs always seem to cop for it. Um, as the leather gets older it tends to, as you probably know, for want of a better word, it dries out. It becomes a bit stiff and brittle, um, and at the same time, it becomes sort of looser where it cracks. <clears throat> when it loses its colour, it tends to fall along the cracks and that and that. So that becomes looser and looser, and the bits in between come harder and harder. So it increases the wear on it. Um, Unfortunately, the person who's lent me this uh, has actually been down the road on it. So hopefully, um, our stuff should be able to strengthen this around this, this area. It has actually got an hole there. It won't actually repair that, obviously. That'd have to be patched over somehow or something to be re repaired. But it should stop it getting any worse. It'll strengthen it, waterproof it. Um, I make it more supple so it's less likely to crack and weaken. Same around the front along the, the edges. It's just a typical old, old leather, they all seem to go that way. So let's uh, see what we can do with it. Hopefully make it last a lot longer. Okay, so here is your Bicology Leather Care. When you get your bottle, it comes with a cap <clears throat> to stop any leaks in transport. So we have to take that out. This isn't a brand new bottle. I've been using it as kind of a demo. Bottle. So you put your cap back on. Remove that, I'll shift that. So here what you get is a a sponge applicator, which is as far as I know unique to our leather care. Uh, the reason we went for this was when I've tried it other ways, like a spray, it doesn't spray very well. It's not ideal. 
Um, it worked, but it wasn't ideal. So this, I feel, gives a much more even coating and it's actually faster as well because uh, you can do large areas quickly and uh, it's a lot less wasteful which is the main thing so you, your gun's going to last you a lot longer right so let's get cracking I'll try and do it so you can see no particular order So, oh, yeah, it's just a case of, um, I say that this one has been used before. It's just a case of tipping it over and rubbing it in. What I'll probably do at some point is um, stop filming and carry on and do the whole jacket. But I'll I just thought I'd give you an idea of the process. So there we go, that, that should be okay for that. So you can go down the edges fairly easy and coat everything. If you do happen to squeeze it suddenly or a lot more than comes out than what should like that, just rub it in with your fingers. It's perfectly fine, I do that all the time. So, it's pretty much done, you just have to leave that soak in now. Um, depending on how old the leather is, it can vary in time. If it's quite old and quite worn, it'll soak in straight away. And if need be, you can always put some more on. Um, I tend to treat them and leave them soaking overnight, just to make sure. So, it's... Um, Show how quick it is on the bigger areas. You can just sweep over them. It's a lot quicker. I don't have to mess around with getting tissues, cloths, and anything like that to rub like a wax in. This is much better than a wax because this won't sit on the surface, it will actually soak in. And it does strengthen, and as I mentioned before, there's um, antimicrobial agents in there, antifungal, antibacterial, which stops them that kind of white mold that you get sometimes. If you let's say if you've got a leather saddle on your bike or leather um, saddle bags, leather panniers, anything like that, if you get wet and you, you put your bike away in the shed or cover it up and leave it and you'll come to it <laughs> and then, you know if it's stood for a while a couple of weeks and there's like white mold on it and you have to scrub that off and sometimes it can mark the leather um, I'll just bring it closer and carry on so yeah so uh Not perhaps put 100% halt to it forever and ever, but if you do a treatment, you know, it'll, it'll stop it happening. It does stop it happening because uh, I use it myself and lots of other people are using it. It's, uh, yeah, it's great stuff for stopping um, all that white mildew. Um, like I said, it won't actually repair the leather but it'll slow down you can see there stop it getting any worse that's actually a reflect reflective strip and it will kind of disguise the the white obviously the more you do this the better it will be 
again, we'll just leave that to soak in. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll stop recording and I'll treat the rest of it and then you can have a look at what it looks like and then I'll leave it overnight and show you again to see how it looks. So if you just bear with me, I shall be back shortly. Okay, so done. Uh, I've applied one coat all over the leather. Um, Becky's just very kindly brought me a brew. So it's not taking me long. Um, 20 minutes, something like that to do the whole thing. Um, hang on, I shall lift up if you'll bear with me. You can see it's uh, still soaking in. Um, it's looking a lot better already. But, um, put this cap back. You know, if you're going to um, store this for a while, it's a good idea to replace the ceiling cap inside. Recording. I do tend to put a bit more around the front and the shoulders just for that extra bit of waterproofing. You can see it's made a big difference already. So all the leather looks. Something Something else this stuff is really good for is on new leather, strangely enough. Um, I bought a pair of boots, they're kind of like a medieval style boot and they were very stiff and they're quite narrow and I've got fairly broad feet. So uh, I put a few coats on, left it to soak in and it's much better, it's a lot more supple, I can get my feet in properly now. So yeah, even on new leather, it takes a lot longer to soak in on new leather but it does eventually, but it makes it a lot more supple, uh, a lot stronger. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased with that, the result of that. No, I've done all sorts of this stuff, it's great. Um, yeah, so ultimately, you know, it's a great thing to do, I think. Um, look after your leather. I mean, I know, I know a lot of it for some people is like a fashion thing. Um, it's, you know, you know, ultimately protect the skin that protects your skin. You know, look after it, look after your leather. That's what these are for, the sacrificial thing if you fall off your bike. Again, going back to the, the new leather, it's like a, a standing joke with, with bikers that you get a new leather and you get called all, all kinds of names like you don't ride anywhere, blah blah. Captain Cardboard, you know, because the new leather is fairly stiff, isn't it? Again, you give it a few coats of that and it's it's kind of like breaking it in for you, it makes it a lot more supple. Yeah, so there you go, I'll, I'll take some pictures and I'll leave this to soak um, overnight. And tomorrow I shall finish off by having a look at it and seeing how we've gone on. So I shall see you all again tomorrow. Okay, so here we are, day two, and here's our treated jacket after being left overnight. Um, 
it's hard to see on the camera but the feel of it you can actually tell it's a lot more supple so yeah it's a lot better it's looking better too One thing you can always tell by an all is the sound when it's been treated. It's something you will notice when you're using it. The sound actually changes, so it's a, always a good indicator, I think, of um, how much better it is and uh, whether you need to put more on or not. So yeah, that's just after one one treatment. There's plenty left in that bottle. If I can find it, there it is. I've actually done two jackets with this, and it's still about three fifths full. So yeah, plenty more in there. And the more you treat it, the less it will take. Obviously, like the first treatment, it'll soak up more. But subsequent ones won't need as much. Um, I think if it was my jacket, I probably would give it another go over. Um, right, that's, a, that's a lot better, I think. So, there you go. One treated jacket. So, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully, we'll have more videos of this kind of ilk to come. Thanks again. Take care.